Okay, so I want to make a quick video on YouTube to explain how to use this laminate strip flooring because I have been doing a lot of this. We've done a whole basement of our house so far and I haven't found any real good videos on how on YouTube on how to do it. It was a lot of learning from the seat of the pants. So, real quick and dirty. Um, first things first, when you start in a room, you're going to need one of these, okay? You need a, a chalk line because you're going to start at one end of the room and go to the other and snap a straight line because unbeknownst to, you might not know this, but your wall might wave a little bit as it did in our big living room. So you want a straight line because your first course needs to be straight. Otherwise you'll be fighting, twisting the whole way because these things don't lay down as straight as you think they do all the time. And um, this down here is all the rest of the things that you're gonna need if you're gonna do it the way that I found is best. Uh, firm paint scraper because if you're doing a concrete, you're gonna find little bumps of paint like this. You want to scrape those flat. Okay. You need a wet rag. I found using ammonia in water works really well because it takes the oils off of the the paint or whatever substrate you're sticking to. And a dry rag because when you come in here, you want to wipe it down, then dry it down. You need a tape measure, a pair of scissors, because you can cut as precise as you want, but a lot of these things, like going around a, a wall right here with the vinyl, you can use a pair of scissors and save yourself a lot of precision stuff, because you're going to be covering the molding anyway, right? Um, obviously a box knife, a pencil, optional, but um, to, to the, the three of the most important things that I've found here is a 12 inch speed square. Um, this is great because of the way you lay these down overlapping, I'll demonstrate that in a second. This is the easiest way I've found to line up where your, where your, your next one should start in the middle. And um, on the instructions on these, these strips, they always say get like a big 100 pound rolling press, which we didn't do, we got a rubber mallet. And if you smack the piss out of it, it sticks really, really well and you have a hard time peeling it up. Um, Another thing that that the, that the structures will tell you to do is to get a latex primer that you can lay down on the floor and help stick. For this one's already painted, we haven't found the need, but when I did pull up the laminate, uh, the vinyl, the vinyl flooring that was already in our landing entryway, it kind of I laid down a latex on there and it stuck like you wouldn't believe. So anyway, uh, once you've laid down your first course. The next one you're going to want to offset. And what I did is I just divided the length of this into thirds, which is 16 inches, um, 18 inches. I don't know if you guys know, but anyway, divided into thirds, ended up being 16 inches. So that's how far apart I spaced them into thirds. And that's where your 12 inch speed square comes in, in handy here. Because now this one I want to lay it, I want to line it up the same spot where I had a seam two planks back. So I will set my ski square right here and line up this edge to this seam. And that's why my next one is going to go right on. I don't have to go measuring as I have all the way through. Can pause it real quick. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to lay this next one down. Um, you want us to clean the floor. And I don't need to go as crazy as you might think, but vinegar works well for removing oils. Those things are just going to make it peel up, but I, like I said, I just use ammonia and water and it dries real nice. Then wipe it down with the dry rag. Line up your speed square. Because these are 6 inch planks, so 2 6 inch planks to 12 inches, it gets you right to the other seam. These all have directions on the bottom of them. And the only thing that always really serves is to show you the grain. And the, the, the premise is you're going to dump out your whole stack. Pick a direction, stick with it. You dump your stack out, mine are all facing this wall. So you just grab the next one and you lay it down in the same direction as your arrows. And your grain should look staggered up all the way through. So, we're going to peel it off. Flip it over. Line it up right here in the little corner. And what I found works best is if you kind of make it to where this edge is overlapping just a teeny tiny bit, and you have to shove it down. That'll make you have really nice tight seams. Otherwise, your seams get sloppy. Down, all the way down. Grab your 
your speed square. Put it on the edge here. Pull it, pull it towards you. Smack it with the finger hammer. And that's that. Now you see we got a we got a fill in right here. Take a tape measure. 28 and 8. Now since I'm going flush up against the door jam here, I want to make it as close as possible. Got a little lip here, concrete, paint. Scrape it down, get out of the way. Measure twice, cut once. 28 and 1 8. Let's see the direction the arrows are going this way. I'm going to want this factory rolled edge to line up here. So I'm going to measure 28 inches from here to here. And I don't have my metal sticks, my metal square. 28 and 1 8. Sorry, I'm a dork and I didn't include that in the initial inventory check. A metal square, so you can run your blade right down the edge of it. So overhang your, open the top a little bit. Line up your metal square to where your line is on the outside right here. The line you with your pencil. Line your blade. Cut. Then. That snap also does create another rolled edge. It's not as clean as this one, so you still want to join that. Arrow's still pointing that way. Peel the paper. Throw it, and maybe your kids can clean it up. Lay it down. Continue on, of course. Um, what you can even do is if you're not ready to go, like we got a freezer right here in the way, so I could potentially right up here. I think this is more than 48 inches. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, 44 and a quarter. I'm gonna cut my next one here and just keep on going out and staggering it out that way until I'm ready to move the furniture out of the way. Anyway, hope this helps. Uh, yeah, just remember the most important thing is your Box knife, no piece of plywood. I use this eighth inch, I mean, quarter inch right here, something to lay up so I'm not cutting on the ground. If you're gonna have to cut in and do a long strip that's narrow, like say two inches or so, you're gonna want a big long metallic uh, level. So you can cut it to length. This small one there. You can cut it to length and then come over here, measure in your inch and a quarter or whatever on either side, make your mark, cut your line nice and straight and just bend it and snap it. Good stuff. Anyway, hope this helps. Have a good one.